So it's a May Day holiday, uh, Saturday. So uh, that means the auto show came back to Zhongshan. These are obviously smaller shows than the international shows like the Guangzhou show and the Sh Shanghai show that I was recently at. But one thing about these smaller shows is that you'll find um, smaller car companies here, um, more regional car companies. A lot of the models they'll have on display are more consumer-based models as opposed to the, you know, like the promotional models. And it's got a fun little atmosphere, kind of a local atmosphere. So it's, it's just different and uh, still rather enjoyable. So let's go into this auto show and see what they got. BYD has quite a uh, an outdoor display today. So BYD, okay, so we have the, the song. So the song. You know what, S sitting here, oh, hang on, shusha. Uh, sitting here, sitting here, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. uh, sitting here in the Song, um, I have to say, the quality in here is really good. Uh, everything about the interior is feels great. The seats are super comfortable. The stitching, the leather, the soft touch, all the design elements. This is a really, really nice SUV. Boy, BYD has come a long way. Look at this element right here. At the vertical, yeah, that's you know it's it's a plastic, but you know it still feels pretty good. But look at the interior here. This gear shift just feels really good in the palm of your hand. It's just very very nice. Charging pad, very nice materials all around. I like this element here. That's very nice. And of course, all the BYD screens. You press a button and they can go vertical. I like these two-tone chairs too, this is very nice. And the uh, Tan. And the Tan is the one that everyone's been talking about. Oh. Let me get a good... Yeah. So they say the Tan has an 800 kilometer range, wow, but zero to 100 kilometers in less than five seconds. I mean, this is a true, uh, a truly amazing SUV for the price. I mean, BYD, man, they've come so far. If it weren't for the idea that BYD is a low-class kind of vehicle, this would sell a hell of a lot more. But again, the quality of these vehicles has come so far in such a short amount of time. Yeah, I mean, even the interior is beautiful. Very similar, but look at this. This is kind of a, a soft leather. Boy, it's really big in here. Huh? How do you feel? Mm. Feels very comfortable, huh? Yeah. That's a hell of a nicer, not nicer than my car, that's for sure. Again, the gear shift feels great. A giant screen that, of course, you press a button and it will rotate. It's really big. It's almost too big for me. I really like the design of the steering wheel, though. It has a very nice element. This dip right here continues here, and then this is kind of, it's not Alcantara, but it's kind of a faux Alcantara. A very nice kind of suede leather right there. Very nicely done. Even this little dip here in the dash, although it's a piano black plastic. You know, that's that's something I wish they didn't have is the piano black plastic there, but. Yeah, it's okay. Soft touch. This one has three row seating. And with the seats down, there's quite a lot of cargo room in the back of this thing. I'm gonna open that up. Ah, like that. Yeah, everything folds all the way down. I mean, you could sleep in the back of this. Really? Yeah, we could we could fold down and sleep. Build your dreams. Nice and recline. So you can actually climb into the back. As an adult, I can climb back here. Oh, it's tight. It's tight for a guy my size, but overall, pretty, pretty awesome. So that vehicle on the top actually has a conveyor belt that lifts it high into the air. So, demonstration. I don't know when the show is. Wow, BYD has a lot of cars on display here. They got this whole area over here, and this whole area over here. Lots of different BYD models. Even got the smaller ones. Look at this funky car. 
I actually been inside this one. This one was a DD driver for us one time, and uh, yeah, it's pretty tiny. Super cheap EV car, man. I just don't like the back end of this one. Yeah, I'll show you. This is over here. This is the BYD E2. My buddy uh, Tyler has one. I did a video on this. You can watch that video here if you'd like. This has got a, a little bit nicer interior. A little bit different than interior than the than Tyler's. All right, a number of other cars here. The Geely's. I did a video on the Geely's. You can watch that one here if you'd like. And over here, ooh, these are, what is this? Fengxing. All right, so I don't know about this brand, Fengxing. Interesting. I've never heard of this brand before, have you? We've heard this before in, Feng in Guangzhou show. This is in the Guangzhou show? Yeah. It's red. All right. I like, I like the circle air vents. The design's very nice. Fourth thing. It's nice and flat. You fit in here. I probably might be able to fit in here. You might need to sleep like this. Yeah, maybe, but maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I like that it's flat though. It's it's a flat. That's really nice. And I really like this color, this teal blue color. That looks great. Uh, the price sheet is it there. Dong Feng Fengxing. Yeah, okay. I do remember this one from Guangzhou now. But that's a pretty good, pretty decent looking car, I think, you know? Not bad. All right, so this is the one. Okay. This is the Aura. This is the black cat. The Hu Mao. Hey Mao, hey Mao. Okay, the black cat. Aura is making. This one I sat in in the um, Havel Big Dog video but of course Aura very very popular brand right now everyone's talking about Aura $300 400. to 400 depending on the model you get and they come in all different colors uh, combinations you get solids this one's obviously a two-tone color oh wow yeah there's a lot of space back there Well, for me, let's see me. <laughs> you sit in the front, and I'll sit in the back and see if there's enough space. Oh, definitely, for sure. There's a lot of space back here. I mean, wow. What's it doing? This is Dong Fong, tiny, funky little vehicle, man. That's really too small. Another Dongfeng cell, cellulos, cellulos. These are Dongfeng cars. Pretty standard modern interior, nothing too crazy. Although I do love these seats. These seats are very nice. All right, to the left is Havel. I've done a million, you guys know I love the Havels. This is the Havel Big Dog. This is, I think this is the exact vehicle. This is the exact vehicle that I sat in in this video here. It's all cleaned up though. <laughs> We've got some Chang'an, the Uni T. Very, very exciting vehicle, but um, I heard long-term not so great. This is the Uni K. This is the big, I wanted to sit in this one, the Uni K. This is the big brother to the Uni T and I've been wanting to sit in this one. Every time I try to get in one, it's locked. This one's open, so I can finally sit in it. I love this color line right here. That's gorgeous. Wow, this feels massive in here. I mean, compared to the Uni T, the Uni K feels great. This is really nice, guys. And look at the steering wheel. It's a, it's a, it's a half on each side. 
you don't ever see this in a production vehicle. Multifunction screen on top with a screen down here. Charger. Yeah, hidden hidden phone charger here. You know, see this right here though. This feels a little. That's the thing with Chang An. The designs are beautiful. Just the fit and finish is not quite there, not yet. But I love this high dash. For all the screens. I mean, this is really big. This feels great. How does it? It almost feels too big for you, doesn't it? This is how much? This is the highest grade. It's a 190,000. It's a pretty good price, if you ask me. <laughs> Look at the back seat. Very big. I mean, lots and lots of space in the back seat. I love these. This leather just feels really, really soft. This is beautiful, really beautiful. Although, this little touch right here, that's kind of odd right there. I'm not sure I like that. Yeah, they go down. Yeah, 6042. Go for it. It's not 100% flat, but there's still plenty of space in here. It's it's a low, it's a high step up and a low ceiling. So to get in there, it's kind of small, but it's long. It's big. It's a big car. That's a good looking sport utility vehicle. Oh, crossover, really. Look at the, yeah, look at this. The Uni T has something similar, but this is the Uni K. And it has backup mirror, but just an interesting rear spoiler design. I love the designs of these. Next to it is one of their older models. Not older, but it's the CS75 Plus. It's a little more. A little more common. Boy, that Uni K is really great. If Chang An can prove themselves long term quality, their designs are gonna start moving them up in the Chinese market. Because it's a beautiful, beautiful car. Inside and out. Of course, they have the icon. This is really nice. I love this one a lot. The main headlights are down here with the running lights here. It looks like an electric car, it's not an electric car. It's just a beautiful, beautiful car. I love the interior of this car. Beijing X7, very, very comp, uh, popular car. Very cool car. And they got one here. These uh, rooftop things I see in a lot of cars. I love the two tones on this car. The gray on the black on the Beijing X7. This is really, really nice. The two cones. That looks great. All right. This is a movable. <laughs> oh, ice cream sandwiches, hot dogs. You can drive this around. Cool. <laughs> it's a food truck. Cool. All right, I got in. It was very hard to get in here. Usually, I have no trouble, but today they required a Chinese ID. My passport wouldn't let me in and the app wasn't accepting my passport number. So after about 30 minutes, we finagled our way, we tried to explain it, I got in, no problem. Doesn't cost any money, but you have to register and all that kind of stuff. But I'm in, that's the most important part. And the first thing I see are these classic cars. This is really cool. This is such a rare sight in China. You, you do not see these in China. Look, look, look at that, look at this Maserati. Very cool. Look at this old Chevy. 1918 Chevrolet. It's an old Mercedes. Suicide front doors. Wow. 
Love it. There's the Model T. Very cool. Boy, cars have come a long way. But you know what? If they made like a Model T like this in modern day with all the modern features, I think it would be quite popular. Okay, okay, very cool, very cool. All right, let's go back and check out more of the show. You remember this one? Leap Motor, yeah. This is uh, this is that little sports car uh, EV, right? Well, the price and just the fact that it's this tiny little. I just find that this little tiny little sport coupe, this electric coupe, to be so cool. I have seen a few of them on the road too. I think they look great. Mona's sitting in it. For 120,000, but I love the look of this car. You look good in it. I mean, compared, I mean, this is a short, but um, kind of a wide vehicle, and then they have this one, <laughs> which is uh, another one of these mini EVs that. Quite frankly, I, I don't like very much. Look at this, this is the iWay. Look at the interior on this. Okay. There's three different screens right there. Check out Dosha Tin. Dosha Tin. one. So about 160,000 RMB for this one. These seats. They're like airplane seats, man. They kind of wrap around. They're super comfortable. They're well bolstered. These are great seats. I love the steering wheel. The rest of the interior is kind of going along what the market's doing. This metal piece right here is very interesting. But I love this. This is very interesting. What's that? Ah. Uh huh. Just like yeah, just like the Li Xiang. I don't know if you can see that, but look down here. They got this. What is this? For uh, hang up stuff. Hanging stuff up. So there's no glove box, though. So. Really? No glove box. That should open, I think. Right? Interesting. Huh. Yeah, but it's like yeah. so plastic. Yeah. That's bad. That's really strange, isn't it? Yeah. So this this looks like um, oh, thanks. This looks like uh, Neil, all right? So that's the Iways. Pretty good looking car. Coros. I like the Coros a lot. It is just way too damn loud in here. Oh, the ES, EHS9 Hongqi. I sat in this at the Shanghai Auto Show. This is beautiful. This is one big freaking car. All right. This is so big and giant and luxurious and comfortable and expensive. Everything in here feels expensive, but super, super high. Look at you! <laughs> like in the lap of luxury, right? Yeah. Let's check. Let's check if they were canceled. All right, now with all the windows rolled up, it's actually quite, it's actually quiet in here. It feels great. Look at the size. Three row seating back there. Did you get a chance to get me? Mm. How do you feel? What do you think of it? The Hongqing is kind of known as like the Rolls Royce and Mercedes Benz of China. And it feels that way. I mean, this is super, super nice. Oh. Everything feels really good in here. 
That's real wood. So this is still one, 640,000 renminbi. For a car like this, that's about the price I would expect to pay for it. This is actually, this is, this is top notch. This element right here, I'm not a big fan of, but I love the diamond stitching on all the pieces. An electric car, 510 kilometer range. Gonna pop the hood here. We're gonna have to, we're gonna get to check out the hood. <laughs> Well, you can't see anything, but okay. Weltmeister. Weltmeister. Looks like a Neo, but it's a Weltmeister. Ooh, I kind of like... I kind of like this. This is pretty good. A lot of black, piano black plastic. I'm not 100% sold on the tears, but... the drive mode drive mode right here BJ40, I've seen it a ton of times. I like the BJ40s. All right, let's take a look at the Way. They got a Way tank. Now, tank is its own brand now, but Way has a version called the tank. And it's a version of the Dogwall, the big dog. And it's really, really nice. Is that a wench? I like the front end of this one better, the tank. But this one's much more expensive than the doggo. But it has all kinds of extra stuff. I love the rooftop tent on top of it though. Not great. So the interior is just so much nicer than the doggo. But of course it is a heck of a lot more expensive. That's just beastly, manly, I love it. Way is considered the, like a luxury brand of uh, Great Wall Motors. But again, they've just launched, this is the Way Tank, but they also have the new Tank brand that they introduced at the Shanghai Auto Show, and this is one of them. So they're really going all out on this model. Nice, big, open. It, it feels like it's bigger than the, than the doggle. That's a table. Yeah, Oh, look at that. They've got a like a camping table in there, huh? Well, that's kind of cool. So this comes out, and this is like a picnic table, and those are the legs for it. Wow, what a great idea. Oh, look at that. Rolls flat. We can sleep in this. 210,000 yen. I think it's long enough. It's long enough. I like this picture. It's awesome for road trip. Yeah. This over here, this is the VV5, the old one, and the VV6. I really like the VV7, but all of these are good. Way is one of my favorite brands. They're made by Great Wall Motors. They're so really lovely interiors. Very sporty, great cars. The Peugeot 4008, I think this is a beautiful car. Yeah, the French do great designs, and I love the interior. That's a good looking crossover. All right, they got a two door defender here, which I've been waiting to see. All right. I even like the color. I love the two door defender. Wow, that looks great. I got a little button here. 
One plus one touch. Okay, I'm gonna try and climb in the back. All right, yeah. Cool. All right, in the back of the two door Defender. Beautiful interior. This is the car of the year in, in uh, China. I love these quarter windows right here. This is just great letting in light. Now this is interesting. This is a strange little panel here on the window, right? You got some kind of rubber thing right here. Maybe put some magazines or something. Cup holders on the floor. I love this. It's 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 a lot more utilitarian. It's got this great grab handle right here. I just I wish this panel was gone. That's the only thing because it it blocks the view out the window. You really can't see. If you can take this panel off and have a regular window here, I think it would make a huge difference. How much is it? Chishiar one. Oh my god. Chishiar one. That's seven hundred and twenty thousand yuan for this two door defender. That's insanely expensive. The way tank right over there for a little just over 200,000. Well, for the price, I'm mm. gonna take that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then this right here, I don't know if I like this. This wheel. Well, so I don't like here. I mean, if you get some carrots on this, you're gonna cry. It's, uh, <laughs> it's they have really beautiful wood here, but they have these exposed bolts on the wood. And I'm really not a fan of that too much. All right, well. It's enough for it's enough for the weekend groceries. But anything more than groceries, you're gonna have to push this down. Still, it's really, really awesome. It's just really, really expensive. And the four-door one just looks fantastic. It looks great. Minivans are always on display here because they are the choice for. Oh wow, this one's. Really nice. Wow. Uh, look at this. That's uh, pretty cool. Put your laptop here, get some work done. This is so much nicer than the older Buicks. This is something new for the kids going on for the next couple of months. That's kind of cool. Kids and dinosaurs, kids and dinosaurs. Lots of cosplay. So this is like some kind of cosplay convention, huh? These are stickers. I have no interest in cosplay. All right, well, that's it. I mean, pretty good uh, show, actually. Uh, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And we saw some interesting cars that I haven't seen in other car shows. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.